As college students, we all look forward to the big sports, football and basketball. We'll look at the athletes involved in those sports, the players, but also the cheerleaders. But for those cheerleaders, there's more than just getting the crowd excited during the game. One, two, three, four. They're practicing for something even bigger. Five, six, seven, eight. The cheer team is preparing for college nationals in Daytona Beach in April, and head coach Erica Goodwin is getting her team ready to win the championship. This will be the 12th consecutive year. We got the routine earlier, and that's the biggest change, and just going ahead and having them grow the skills. At practice, we have both teams. We have co-ed, and we have all-girl. We come in, we warm up, get our muscles warmed up, stretched out, then we start running through the routines. Practices are challenging, but also effective for both the all-girl and co-ed teams. The athletes are pushed to their full potential with multiple reps in their stunts and tumbling. Just make sure when you're tumbling, you push all your skills. This acts as conditioning for them so they can be more prepared for the competition. All-girl senior Caroline Redkovich believes they can't afford even one tiny mistake to succeed at nationals. To be on top again, we definitely need to hit a perfect routine. In the few years past, we always had just have one little fall or something that I think sets us aside from not hitting perfect. Now, as a freshman on the co-ed team, Andrew Mize already sees a challenge the team faces, but believes they can still be successful. I think this team as a whole has a lot of great skill, but a lot of times they just let petty things get to them or they don't realize how great a skill they have, so they don't think to like train harder. We have a good vibe on the team for the most part. There's a good chemistry for most of the team, which I think could translate into something on the map. The cheerleaders leave for nationals April 5th and compete two days for the first place title. For Carolina News, I'm Bailey Blanchard.